Okay, one second. Are you serious? Okay, we need to find a new Hannah. Mine has turned into a what? civilization zombie. Oh, just one second, one second, one second. I just, one sec. Okay, that's the end. Goodbye, everyone. That was a parody of my own self, everyone. Don't worry. It was a joke. She brought her switch in. <laughs> I was like, okay, when we begin, I'm going to pretend I'm playing. <laughs> I was like, oh, comedy. <laughs> it was funny, but it's not really that much of a joke. I really have still been playing quite a bit. So. Yep, Hannah is helplessly obsessed with Civilization VI. And you know how I told you this was the first game I was losing, and I almost thought about just ending it? I don't. They don't want to hear about this. But Let's do you see. want to know? Uh -huh. I made a comeback, and I am. Uh, victory is imminent is the notification I just got. Wow. So. All right, back to Monday Grub Bag, the series where we answer all of your most brilliant questions. And where do we get those questions, Hannah? We get them from the comment sections of our videos. So feel free to leave a question in our comments, and you we might answer it next week. Yes, we get a lot. So please don't be offended yes. if we don't get to your question. Yeah, you could just keep asking it. Give yourself many a many people are, <laughs> and I wish I could tell them. Some of them I'm like not gonna answer. I wish I could be like, hey, we're not on that. Like what? Like like what? some people are like. How have you met? And we've answered uh, that like a hundred times. True, and that's like a longer story. That would be tough. So. Right. So, oh, before we begin, real quick, we were editing a video for something, and we <laughs> had to go back and find old videos of ourselves. And we found this video. Mm -hmm. I came like running into the room. I was like, Shane, look at this. Okay, look at me. This is like two or three years ago. <laughs> Do you see my, I am a cockatoo. <laughs> I am a literal parrot. What? You what? let me be on YouTube with that hair? What did your hair ever look like that? I think that was the phase where I was saying... You were going to grow into like a ponytail. Well, no, I was saying that I looked like George Clooney. Yeah, well, and you were, for a while, you were like, I'm going to grow it long enough to have a bun. A man bun, yeah. So I think you were like, it was just long, and it was just... Really but it was so puffy. My hair now, I feel like I'm like 30 years older. <laughs> I've lost all my hair. I could never have that poof. You could. I just, you get so frustrated with long hair. I cut it. Yeah, like, poof it up a little bit. I, I cut it every month. You am, know? I, am I poofed? I don't think it's. I'm never going to get back to that level. I like. trimmed the top a lot. There's just not a lot to poof right now. That's okay. <laughs> okay, let's get into the questions. Hello. All right, question number one. I apologize if this is in any way ableist, but I have wondered if Hannah has ever felt guilty doing things that Shane is unable to do due to inaccessibility. For example, walking down the beach, riding roller coasters, etc. Did Shane ever feel disappointed that he was unable to partake because the place was not accessible, or just wish Hannah would have stayed with him and foregone the activity? This is a very good question. And no, not, not ableist at all to wonder about that. Yeah. And I think you wrote it very very kindly and thoughtfully. Yeah. Um, so, Hannah, do you ever feel guilty for doing things that I can't do? Um. What if you begin to sob? That's <laughs> <laughs> like, I need a minute. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think occasionally, yeah. Uh, and I'll, like, I'll wish that whatever was accessible or I'll get, like, irritated that it isn't. Yeah. It depends on what it is. But it doesn't come up a ton. We don't do a lot of activities that aren't accessible. Yeah. And I think you said something there that's really true. It's more frustration yeah. that things aren't accessible than guilt. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah. Like, I don't think you're ever like, oh, I'm bad for doing this. Yeah. You, know, you don't have a guilt. Yeah. It's like, this is stupid that yeah. this isn't accessible. When we go to, like, Disney or, like, theme parks where I can't ride many of the rides, I think that's, like, the most... Yeah. When, when we feel that the most... Yeah. And the way we handle it is like, I encourage her to ride every ride that she wants to. I don't ever want her to feel guilty for her, like doing things. Well, that's the thing is like, we were at dinner, for example, two days ago, and Shane kept being like, so what are you going to order? And I was like, I don't know, like, I think I'll get this salad, but this, this appetizer sounds really good. But if, 
if you're getting that appetizer, we don't need to, so it's fine. And Shane was like, well, I won't get my appetizer and maybe I shouldn't get that entree. Maybe I'll get something smaller so you can get both appetizers that you want. It was like absurd. And I was like, Shane, I want you to get what you want as much as you want me to get what I want. Like I, th this is irritating to me that you are saying you will not get what you want so I can get more. <laughs> right. We had this whole discussion about it. And that is like Shane's entire lifestyle is I, to be like, what do you want to a fault? Yes, I agree. <laughs> I also think that Hannah is that way a lot also. Mm. Sorry, that was weird on it. But <laughs> we're both very concerned about the other's happiness and well-being, yeah. often above our own. Yeah. And that often means that like we can do things without feeling guilty yeah. because we know that the other is supporting it. Yeah, um, absolutely. And just for me in terms of not being able to do things, like I've experienced that my whole life. There's a lot that is not accessible to wheelchair users. So today I'm pretty used to it and I enjoy seeing other people do it and I, it doesn't really bother me that much. Yeah. I will say when we went to Disney and Universal the past couple months, we've gone to both of those this past year, we went with Cole and Charisma and because Cole also uses a wheelchair and like didn't do a lot of the rides, he and Shane were able to like, you know, sit and talk yeah. while Charisma and I did rides and that was a really nice setup because it eliminated any like, oh, Shane's waiting for 45 minutes alone yeah. while I'm alone in line. Like, you know, we didn't have that. So that was nice. So from now on, we only go to theme parks with Holland's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question number two. I've watched this channel long enough to know your love. Uh, you love your beer, but I'm curious, does your disease in any way affect your alcohol tolerance? Do you get drunk faster? AKA, AKA are you a lightweight LOL? <laughs> uh, Thank you for watching our channel for so long. Yeah. Um, to learn that I love my beer, you're right. Um, I have a very, very fast metabolism, mm -hmm. which affects my alcohol tolerance in that I get, I feel the drink pretty quickly, like I'm small also, mm -hmm. and that makes it faster. But I don't remain intoxicated very long at all yeah like and and this makes it sound like i'm like getting drunk a lot i'm not <laughs> but when i have been drunk it only lasts for like an hour and then i'm like back to normal yeah which feels like i'm a tank like the opposite yeah. of a lightweight but if i drink one like 10 percent beer i feel it like pretty yeah, but you can drink like you can drink like three ten percent beers, which is bizarre for your size. Uh -huh, yeah. But like, if you spread them out by like an hour, then it, it's completely nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's so it's interesting. Yeah. It definitely does affect it. Yeah. So I'm I'm like the opposite. I'm a lightweight and a super not a lightweight. Yeah. I right, not so weird answer, but yep. There you are. <laughs> uh, all right. When you eat, does Hannah feed Shane first, or sort of go one to him, one to her? So Hannah helps me often, you know, for or spoon food into my mouth, just yes. for context. Yes. Because these arms ain't doing it very well. No, they're they're <laughs> capable, but it's much quicker and easier if I help. Uh, when I, no, we just yeah, it's it's like the one to me, one to Shane type of thing. Mm -hmm. I think it would be a little strange if I fed Shane his entire meal first and then like, was mine sitting there? Did I do I then go get my food? Eat alone. I like to imagine that you make your meal <laughs> and it's sitting in front of you and you're just not touching it while yeah. you feed me. That would be very polite. No, it wouldn't. That would be rude. <laughs> feed feed me <laughs> first. <laughs> that would make me feel guilty yeah. right there. I'd be like, this is the worst thing I've ever done. No, Hannah <laughs> just kind of gives me a bite. I, I chew a lot slower, so uh -huh. I'll take one bite while Hannah takes like five bites. Yes. And then I'll take another bite. Yeah. It, it works out well. It does. All right. I really love shopping for office supplies. Agenda books, journals, and pens are probably my top favorites. What's your favorite office supply and why? Wow. That's a great... I love shopping for office supplies, too. I put this one because I knew you did. Yeah. So what's your favorite office supply? Um, For, like, picking them out, probably a planner, like an agenda, like you said. Our, we have too many planners. Well, they're all expired. They're previous years, and they didn't... 
I don't use them. Like I use them so aggressively for a week. A day. I fill it all out and then You like just... to decorate your planners. Yeah. You're like, oh I'm gonna get a planner. I'm gonna make it really organized, really pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna get all these colored pens. Yeah. And they're always gonna mean different things. And I'm gonna draw a flower and now <laughs> I'm gonna draw a rainbow. And, and there's oh, ones now with stickers. Now I'm bored and I'm not <laughs> using it anymore. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. So what about you? I like a very nice gel pen. Like a black just you know, the ones that when you Right, you feel like you're just uh, on the paper. Wow. So it's very just, and you like to shop yeah. for those. I haven't held a pen. I was about to say in you probably ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you have said you like to like buy sharpies because you use sharpies when you write? Sharpie is my favorite instrument to use. Okay. But when shopping, oh, or I miss being in middle school and like doing back to school shopping uh -huh. and picking out like the like the fun folders. Yeah, for, or like erasers, and you would or, see yeah. ones that are shaped as yeah. something. Ooh, a mechanical pencil. Uh huh. Remember that? I use that for my logic puzzles, so. I remember. I <laughs> you can tell I don't write with my hands. <laughs> yeah. It's like, remember paper? Remember pencils? <laughs> uh, all right. How often, I'm so sorry, like, I don't know if this is bothering anybody else, but I'm, do you see me right oh, now? Oh, yeah, I didn't, yeah, you're in the sun. And it's changing, Here, so I, I felt, like, it feels like there, it's going to be, I'm going to be blurry now, but I feel like that's going to be really irritating. I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, how often do you get recognized, and how does it feel? I, I would say that we are getting recognized more than ever before in our career. Yeah, it feels like it has escalated very abruptly. Over and maybe the, that's because we're traveling a lot more. Yeah. This past month, like, we haven't done a lot. But also we've had a lot of very viral yeah. content lately on various platforms. Yep. Um, and, like, all the time now, people are coming up to us saying, Hey, you're the... Uh, you're yeah. Right. And we love it. Like, it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's great to meet people. Um, yeah, it's always really cool. It is a little overwhelming now. Yeah. Like, well, because it's been like everywhere we go, more than a couple of people. Yeah. It's, it's like very strange. It used to be every like three times we would go out, we'd get recognized by somebody. And now it's like everywhere we go, it's it's not like one person, it's more. And we were like out to dinner a couple nights ago, and literally five different people yeah. came up to our table while we were eating and like introduced themselves, which again, it's nice. We don't mind it. Yeah, it was nice. But at the end of it, we were like, wow, that was a lot <laughs> we're of... We're like, what? That was a lot of interaction. <laughs> yep. Sorry, the sun hit me back there. All right. <clears throat> Besides Shane's lack of muscle in his arms, do his shoulders have any type of mobility or are they locked in place like his wrists? Ah, good question. It's a very specific question. Yeah, I bet the person that asked that is like a physical therapist. I know. Or something. Uh, so I have a little bit of range of motion in my shoulders. Very little muscle, so I can't do it on my own. But you can see, I can do that. I can go forward, backwards. There we go. That's about... Yeah. The terrible. forward is pretty impressive. If you go outward and up, that's about my limit there. So, yeah. yeah there you go. And the other arm is the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the last question. It's so nice. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, I am so excited for Halloween. Oh my god, it's fall. Almost here. I'm so excited. I hate fall. That is so disappointing to me. This is our biggest disagreement, I think. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I actually am speechless. You don't hate fall. I don't hate it. I guess I don't mind it. But like the crisp temperatures, I love all of it. And Shane's... Like, I'm cold right now. My yeah. hands are cold. Well, wear a long sleeve. Look no, at me. No, you no. I'm in the. I just showed them I have no range of motion. I'm not wearing long sleeves. What's your favorite candy? <laughs> oh, may I um. Oh lord, mine's Reese's peanut butter cups. There you go. I'm done. Go ahead. <laughs> there. In what world would I be able to answer this question? In any sort of timely manner. Um. Take notes, everyone. Here we go. <sighs> But like, what is that? Even, like, my favorite candy is that different than my favorite Halloween candy? I don't just. What candy do I most like to receive on Halloween? If I go trick candy. or treating. Oh, this is trick or treating now. <laughs> it's Halloween candy. 
I would like to purchase a variety bag at the store. Okay, here we go. Do you like lollipops? I like blow pops. Okay, do you like candy corn? I would never purchase it, but if it's at a bowl, if it's in a bowl at a party, I would eat some, yes. Twix. I like Twix. Mm. So this is a problem. Oh, you know what? I, you know what I'll say? Those those caramel apple lollipops. That is a oh. Halloween candy. There you go. You know, that's so perfect. That's your favorite? The ones that are like flat. Yes. I'll mention that we do have a P.O. box. Oh my god. And the link is in our description. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go order myself some caramel apple lollipops right now. That is that's the perfect answer. I'm so satisfied with my answer. That's a are really you satisfied with your answer, really? Reese's peanut butter cups? Yeah. That's yeah. your answer? I mean I also really like dark chocolate with like raspberry. That's not Halloween candy. Inside. Halloween candy is just candy. No one's handing that out. I've gotten chocolate raspberry Godiva chocolate bars. For Halloween. Yeah. Trick or treating. Not often, but yeah. Who who handed you a chocolate raspberry Godiva bar? Thank you all for watching. Have a great Monday. <laughs> Bye everyone.